Hi, this is Tao, and I want to show you uh, a little thing I'm doing here. It's a little demonstration file. And if you can see this layer 4 okay, is the very top layer of a bone setup. And all these bones you can see here are actually controlled by layer 4. And they're all nested into this. Let me pull this over here because you don't really need to see that. And here's the the tools and so I'm gonna go down to the timeline okay my timelines off screen okay on another monitor but I'm gonna go off on frame one and as you can see I can manipulate pretty much all these different bones and they're all on different bone layers except for the green in the background and this blue uh, here Let's take a look at the layer setup. Okay, this is the main layer. Oh, hey, and let's make things disappear. So layer, this layer is on top of everything, and this layer is the green behind everything, and that is in line with all these different other bones. Now we have bone, this bone layer here, which, hmm, okay, is star in this triangle. Now, let's move the star around. And as you can see, it's below the triangle and above uh, these two. And it's nested higher in the setup. So it's up here on this layer. And the triangle is on here and of course if I move the triangle because it's nested I'm moving everything everything on the next layer down which is the star okay and then I've got a bone layer here which is uh, the purple with two bones on it and I've got this light blue with two bones controlling that now let me go back up to the top layer and of course I'm on frame one. And as you can see, I can do a lot of controls here. And if I want to do a little animation, I'm just gonna bring down the timeline and whatever and go back and play it. Okay. So let's go back. So how is this being all done? How am I able to nest into you know control bones on this top layer with the nesting well that brings up the layer settings and the layer settings all have embedded scripts on it there are two scripts i'm using uh one is uh mike green script and the other one is a hey Vern script uh Vern hasn't been on the forum for quite some time. In fact, this, this script I I'm using was from 2012. So it's been a while. And let's take a look at this script here. Okay, now there's two sets, separate scripts here. Everything that is one layer deep, okay, is the Mark, uh, Mike Green script. So let me click on the embedded script and reinitialize it. So you can see it. MG Bone Parent Master. And that's what I have applied to it. And I hit apply. And OK. So each one of these, this layer, this layer, and this layer have the MG Master. This layer. I believe has no script on it. So there is no embedded script on this. But it's being controlled by the top layer. How's that working out? Well, that one has this embedded script. And, and as you can see, uh, going through my stuff here, and this was the original one. And let me open it up. Come on. 
course, it's probably buried underneath everything. Come on, why didn't it open? Now I'm getting irritated. Let me go back to it. All right. Let me try this again. Open. There we go. Okay. There's the original script, okay? And there's a lot of stuff here, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's one modification I did to the script, okay? And that is down here. Hey, and if I can find where it is, I'll show you what I changed. Okay. I'm looking for this, and this is switch. So now I got the right script because he actually had a Another one that's quite similar to this, but it's not the same. Here it is. Okay. If layer type is Moho LT switch, then, you know, the layer name. And that initializes this to operate only on switch layers, which is no good for me. So this is my modification. Uh, and I double click, here it's going to open it. So let's go back here and click on open. Open. There we go. And now I'm going to go down. And the modification here is layer, if layer type is MT Moho LT switch or layer type is LT bone, then local name. So that's the modification I added to the script. It's really simple uh, coding thing. And I am not a coder. So ever since uh, somebody decided that they're going to confuse my world with object oriented, I've never gotten it. So this is the script you want to embed. Okay? And that goes to the very top layer. Hit apply. Now what happens is that, that script controls this layer. Okay, which is furthest down on the chain. If I were to add more bone layers, it would only control the very top layer, and anything in between would be ignored. The, so that's the Hey Vern script or the XM script, and this is the Mike. These are controlled by Mike Screen Green script, so they're on these layers, and the Havern or the XM script is on this layer and it controls this layer. So if you want to do uh, this control uh, further down by having a master layer on top, this is the way you can do it. Okay? Now, you can avoid doing all this by having um, not the bones uh, like this and just put everything on a single layer and control everything by point motion. There's, there's a multiple ways of doing this. But I think this is going to be very useful for people who want to separate bone layers, okay, so that they're not interacting with each other with the bone strength. Because okay? as you can see, I have bone strength that's all over the place. Okay? I can actually crank up the bone strength on this one layer because the bone strength gets transferred to the other layers. So let's say I, I crank up the bone strength like that. Now technically, if this was all the same layer, what would happen? Everything would move. Okay? But because they're all independent, okay? and let me get off frame zero, it still only can controlling the layer that it's on, which would be a, it's just a, that layer there, plus the two layers that are, of course, you know, the vector layers that are within the um, master or the uh, bottom bone layer. So it's an interesting setup. I'm going to 
share the file in the scripts uh, on a filing share sharing site hey, my Dropbox is full so I got to find a temporary place until I can you know get a little room back in my Dropbox so thanks for watching hope you enjoy this bye